Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Christine Blasey Ford nailed on major polygraph slip up. Here's what she's hiding. Now that Dr. Christine Blasey Ford testified, we can safely say we have more questions about her story than we did before she testified. One particular question that's very odd is when she was asked about the polygraph test and she actually said she doesn't think she paid for it. What? How can you not know if you paid for something or you didn't? Only in liberal land can someone forget if they paid for something so important when they are testifying in front of the U.S. Senate and the world. Here is more on this controversy via Breitbart. Christine Blasey Ford, the California psychology professor who leveled allegations of teenage sexual misconduct against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, said she does not know who paid for a polygraph examination regarding the incident while testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee Thursday. Update, 1.44 p.m., Ford's counsel, Deborah Katz, after a break in the hearing, says, let me put an end to this mystery, her lawyers have paid for her polygraph. As is routine. Blasey Ford told prosecutor Rachel Mitchell Thursday afternoon that she did not yet know who paid for the polygraph exam she underwent on August 7, one week after her allegations against Kavanaugh reached Senator Dianne Feinstein, DCA. Ford testified Thursday before the Senate Judiciary Committee, leveling her accusations against President Donald Trump's Supreme Court justice nominee. The Republican members all ceded their time for questions to Mitchell, a veteran sex crimes prosecutor. In this exchange, Mitchell asked whether Ford recalled who had paid for the polygraph exam. Advertisement, story continues below. Mitchell, did you pay for the polygraph yourself? Ford, I don't think so. Mitchell, do you know who paid for the polygraph? Ford, not yet, no. Mitchell also asked why Jerry Hannafin, the polygraph administrator, did not conduct the examination in his Virginia office, rather at a hotel next to BWI International Airport. I had left my grandmother's funeral at that point at Fort Lincoln Cemetery that day and I was on a tight schedule to get to make a plane to Manchester, New Hampshire, Ford told Mitchell. He was willing to come to me, which was appreciated. Mitchell followed up, so you were administered a polygraph on the day that you attended your grandmother's funeral? Correct, or it might have been the next day, Ford replied. In a hot mic moment, Ford then turned to one of her attorneys, Deborah Katz, and said, I don't remember the exact day. Asked if she had ever been advised on how to take a polygraph or offered any tips regarding an examination, Ford said she had not. She said that while she was scared to take the test, she believed it would accurately gauge whether her responses were truthful. I didn't expect it to be as long as it was going to be, she added. It was a little bit stressful. Why is it that when liberals testify against conservatives the mainstream media never call them out on what they say? And why is it that every time a conservative man seems to have an issue with some women in his past that woman always turns out to be a far left-wing liberal? Why don't conservative women ever seem to come out and accuse anyone? Maybe they do, but when Paula Jones and Juanita Broderick came out and accused Bill Clinton instead of investigating the only thing that happened is that Hillary Clinton referred to them as bimbo eruptions. Dr. Ford made a fool out of herself in today's testimony. She came across as someone who didn't know what had happened and who when asked about that night actually had to read a notepad in order to remember. That doesn't sound normal when you have been traumatized so severely that you claim to not be able to go into small spaces, although you do fry in airplanes and you do go scuba diving which is terrifying for anyone who suffers from claustrophobia as Ford claims she does. The left-wing media is as I write this already conspiring with the Democrat Party as to how to spin this so this woman looks somewhat credible. But the truth of the matter is the damage has already been done and the American people already saw firsthand what kind of Democrat Party orchestrated farce this whole thing is. Perhaps the saddest part about all this is how, even if confirmed, Kavanaugh's reputation has already been tarnished to a level no innocent individual should have to endure. Let's hope and pray that all this fake narrative from the left is uncovered and those who conspired and lied go to prison. If not then we can safely say America has lost its greatness and all we are is just another banana republic like so many others in the world. Please pray for Judge Kavanaugh, his family, President Trump, and the United States of America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.